<laughs> Hello and welcome to another Storytime Sunday. Ooh, ooh, hi guys. <laughs> Today we've got a story about what I'm doing right now. Talking. But not specifically just talking. <laughs> it's not a story about talking. It's about speech. And how I had speech therapy as a child. I could not say my R's. R. You hear that? I could say it now, obviously. <laughs> That's hard for a lot of kids, yeah. I feel like. And for a lot of kids, like, for instance, Canyon, he struggles a little bit with his speech. And we obviously know that. We're aware, it, of, we're aware, it, aware of it. Even though people like to tell us all the time. <laughs> and I'm not meaning that in a rude way, you guys. Yeah. I love all of our subscribers, but we're aware. We know how he speaks. Yep. And he'll probably have to go to speech therapy. If just not, we totally just... We'll teach him, yeah, you know. Which is totally fine. Because I've gone through it. I know what it's like. And really, it's not that big of a deal. Like, I went to a class during school. They'd take me out of a class for a little, probably like half an hour. And they'd just go over letters with you. And you'd try to pronunciate them. And, I don't know, I'm trying to think of when exactly I started. I, I didn't even know I had a speech problem until my parents started pointing it out. Like, hey, you need to start trying to say your R's a little better. <laughs> and it, it kind of made me mad almost. Like, I can talk just fine. And like, don't correct me. <laughs> yeah, it's like, whatever. I was, I was probably in first grade when I started going to therapy. So, how old's first grade? Like, six, seven, seven? Six, seven. Mm -hmm. So, not a huge deal. But I remember one class specifically. I remember we were having like a fun art time in my normal school. And they had to come and take me out during that time. <sighs> Cody loves his art, you guys know. Yeah, it was like, it was a traumatic event for me, even though like I didn't make a big deal out of it. It was just like... <sighs> Internally. Cody internalizes things, you guys. I do. So I went to the class and I, I just remember being so frustrated. I went with my friend. He couldn't say, I can't remember. He, I remember he couldn't say cereal for some reason, but <laughs> <laughs> kind of random. But it was just like... I need to kick this in the butt to get this taken care of so I could just go play in my normal class. Just, I don't know, and sometimes you need that kind of eye-opening like, okay, this a is problem. a problem, I need to go fix it. Yeah. And I did. I can say my R's just fine now. <laughs> my sister Madison, same thing. She had to go to speech therapy in elementary school. And I don't know, like Cody said, sometimes there's like this stigma around it like, he went to speech or like he needs speech classes and it's like guys like everyone needs help in some aspect of their life right yep. like i don't know maybe some people need extra help reading or with math or learning how to ride a bike like everyone needs extra help at something in their life so cody's just happens to be happened to be speech and canyon's probably will be as well yep i mean that's it's kind of the point of school right you go to learn and to grow Mm -hmm. And that's just something to I had to do. Rest and improve. Yep. Yeah, and I'm trying to think that like it did have some like bigger impacts in my life. Like I wasn't as talkative as most people, probably because more I, I expressed myself more through like my actions and artwork and just different things like that. And I don't know, I just had to be like more comfortable around people to open up and really talk to them a lot. So I was kind of like the quiet kid. It's not because I was shy or had nothing to say is just I probably just wasn't too like confident in my my talking my speech you know going to classes like oh you, you have a speech problem and I don't know it's not that big of a deal really no I love you you guys this is a big deal Cody didn't want to be like vulnerable and talk about this but he's doing so well and we just we constantly have to remind ourselves like we tell you guys we want to be real and we want to be 100% us and honest, you know? Because for some people, it is hard to admit that they have a problem or they had a problem. But we always want to be honest with you guys and we want you guys to know how we're feeling in our hearts, so. Yep. So, like, I remember being a kid and nothing against my parents. My parents are great. They're amazing. Best parents I could ever had. But they'd always talk for me, if that makes sense. It's like, someone would ask me a question and if I didn't answer, like, right away my parents would jump in and be like oh he, his favorite sport is soccer i didn't know what to say all the time and i was a little shy so speech has never been like my strong point um i think it kind of developed from that speech problem growing up but i actually got 
pretty good at public speaking on my mission because you're out there teaching big groups of people in any situation, any scenario, and I actually got quite comfortable with it. And so that really well, helped teaching. me a lot. Teaching, yeah. Cody and I have taught many classes together in our church, and whereas I get kind of nervous standing up in front of a class speaking and teaching, which is, I don't know, kind of weird because I didn't used She's to. She's such a good speaker. No, no. But he can like completely carry the class and like in front of a classroom it, he is just in his element he is in his comfort zone so yeah it's really fun to see him teach classes it's kind of cool how it's something that you're like you're weak at growing up and then you can develop that into a strength and i think that's important to remember in every aspect of your life you know mm -hmm. just like you Definitely. said if if there's something that is just like kind you of struggle with yeah it's like a weak part of who you are you can fix that to make it the strongest part of who you are, you know? So I think that's a super important lesson. Yep. Hope we can teach our kids that. Definitely. Just anything, really, if you work at it, you're gonna get better at it. So yeah, like I still sometimes struggle with it. Like I mumble a lot. Kenzie always gets mad at me for mumbling. Just well, <laughs> he'll say something so quietly that I'm like, honey, if you wanted me to hear that, why was it so quiet? <laughs> like, I cannot hear you. Yeah. It's mostly when I'm like laying down. I'm just like too lazy to. No, it is not. Blah, blah, blah. It is not <laughs> just when he's laying down. It's a lot of the time it's when I'm laying No, down. it isn't. <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. That's probably going to be it for us today, though. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe Please button. Do. If you want to be on our notification squad, hit that bell. Ooh. You know, get notified, be one of the first to see our videos. So we have like a solid group of our loyal subscribers yeah, that comment. You guys are awesome. Guys, every one of you is awesome. We love you, but every one of you is amazing. But there's like those ones that we know you guys. We know your face, we know your yeah. name because we see it so often and we communicate with you so often. Yeah. So, we love you guys. So we want to get to know you guys better. We do. And we love it. We love, love, love talking to you guys in the comments. But something we were just thinking is like, we don't have a name for what our YouTube heck? family. What do you guys want to be named? Yeah, what do you want to be called? If you have any ideas, comment below and we will, I don't know, vote something. Pick, we'll <laughs> pick the raddest one, you know? Yeah. Which would probably be hard because there will probably be lots of awesome ones. Yeah. But. You got any ideas? None. Moffatrons, no. Moffat train. I hate when he writes <laughs> It's like he's like a transformer. Moffatron. <laughs> I think it's he pretty awesome. He writes Moffatron all the time. The Moffat train, the Moffat clan. Moffat train, that's kind of cool. Moffateers. The Moffateers. That's what we called our boys, the three Moffateers for a while. <laughs> yeah, so let I us know, know <laughs> if you guys have any ideas so we can call you something. Yeah, but I just like calling you guys our family. Yep, you're a part of our family. We we love you guys. Thank you so much. So, we'll so much. We'll see you tomorrow. We might have something exciting happening. Right yeah, now. maybe. Hopefully we can put this in here. <laughs> we love you. Bye. Bye. That white car is like sending the sun right into my face right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're almost done. Let's fix your shirt. <laughs> How on earth did you do that? <laughs> Bring him up here. Canyon just came out like this. How'd you do that, dude? <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you want to say hi? Say hi, everyone. Hi. Look at, look at my awesome bed head. Hi. Okay, <laughs> go watch your show. Shut the door. We're almost done. Okay. Hi, bye. Okay. Everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Everything is cool.